Hi guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and we're continuing on with the AP Calculus 2015 free response question, and here is number four. Consider the differential equation, dy dx equals 2x minus y. This looks really familiar. Have I done this problem before? On the axes provided, sketch a slope field for the given differential equation of the six points indicated. Okay, so, um, sorry about that. Um, two dy dx equals two x minus y. Um, okay, so this point x is zero, and negative y minus negative one. That's positive one. So positive one looks like that. Zero one slope is negative. Zero minus two is negative two. Is a little bit steeper like that. Um, and then at 1, 2, it's 2 minus 2, so that's 0. 1, 1, it's 2 minus 1, that's positive 1. Oh, yeah, and then 1, negative 1, that's 2 minus a negative 1, that's 3. So it's even steeper like that. Okay, pretty straightforward. All you do is you take each of the x and the y coordinate, right? This is the point 0, 2, and I just plug it in here. What's 2 times 0 minus 2? Find the second derivative in terms of x and y. Determine the concavity of all the solution curves for the differential equation in quadrant two and give a reason for your answer. Well, that sounds ominous. Um, okay, so the second derivative, I should take the derivative of this. That'll give me the second derivative. If this is the first derivative, I take the second one. The derivative of this is just two with respect to x minus the derivative of y is dy dx. Right, but I know dy dx is this, so this is 2 minus 2x minus y, right? Because dy dx is just this, so that's equal to 2 minus 2x plus y. Okay, so that's my equation for the second derivative. Now, um, the concavity is what happens in the second quadrant. Now, quadrant 2 is where x is greater than 0. Nope wrong x is less than zero and y is greater than zero right because I'm in this is quadrant two over here so x is negative and y is positive if x is less than zero this is positive y is greater than zero that's positive this whole thing this implies the second derivative over dx squared is always positive hence it's concave up concavity is if the second derivative is positive it's concave up second derivative is negative it's concave down let f of x be the particular solution to the differential equation with the initial condition, blah. Does f have a relative min? Relative max are neither at x equals 2. Um, well, f prime at 2, which would be, um, you know, dy dx at 2, would be um, 2 times 2 minus three, because this is the y value, right? This is y and x. So they're saying though at the point um, x, sorry, I had it backwards. The x is two and this is y. So this is the point two, three, right? Well, the derivative there at two, three is two times two minus three. That's equal to negative one, right? Did I have that right? x is two, y is three. So um, it's neither. Because x equals 2 is not a critical point. Right? Critical point for a relative min or max is that um, the derivative has to be 0 there. The derivative is not 0 there at x equals 2, y equals 3. Okay? Find the values of the constants m and b for which y equals mx plus b is a solution to the differential equation. Okay, so here they're saying, well, suppose I had a solution that was y equals mx plus b. Well, dy dx is just equal to the derivative of this, which is just equal to m, right? Because the derivative of b is a 0. So that would have to equal... So I, I'm basically taking this and plugging into this equation. I have 2x minus y, which is mx plus b. Okay. 
Um, so what I have is this. I have so let's 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 sort of rearrange everything together. I have m is equal to two x minus m x minus b. Okay. So um, the way you kind of solve this one is I'm going to set everything equal to zero, and I'm going to explain, and I'm going to factor out x here. X two minus m minus b minus m. Now for this to be a solution to the differential equation everywhere, for this to be zero, this part has to be zero, and this part has to be zero. Because the coefficient in front of x has to be zero. So that means m minus two has to equal zero. Because if they're not equal zero, then this is not equal to zero everywhere. Right? Um, so that means m equals two. And then negative b minus m has to equal zero. But since m is two, this is negative b minus two equals zero. So b has to equal negative two. So the solution would be y equals 2x minus 2. And if I plug that into the differential equation, uh, it should work. Um, yep. So that was pretty good. So let's take a look at the solutions. Uh, down, down, up. Then flat, up, then steeper, up. OK, so that that's good. Um, All solution curves are concave up. Yeah, it's greater than zero. Um, dy dx is not equal to zero, therefore, nor relative maximum, because it's not a critical point. The derivative is not zero there. And m equals two, b equals negative two. Okay, so it looks good. Um, so thanks for watching, and I will see you guys uh, in the next uh, free response question. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I just want to let you know that I offer free homework help on Twitch or Discord. So uh, just stop on by if you have any homework questions or you just want to learn about different parts of math and physics and hang out. Hope to see you there.